Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are looking at Helix. What is Helix? Helix is a code editor in the family of Vim. There are tons of uh, sons of Vim out there. They're probably the most common one you've seen. I've covered in the past called NeoVim. Uh, Vim was first designed in, I think, 1873. Uh, it and Emacs are two of the longest running code editors out there. People know and love or absolutely despise the control scheme of it, and this basically is using that functionality. Uh, it's a term based editor so you can run this directly from your command line uh, it uses like the typical vim control structure but there's a couple of key differences here and the big thing you're going to find difference between helix and let's say neovim neovim is super customizable absolutely amazingly customizable as are most other vims out there the thing is this one isn't there's no plugin support at all but what it does come with out of the box is probably the things that you want it has tree sitter integration which allows you to do syntax highlighting navigation code and data and so on. So basically syntax highlighting for your code. It's got language server support. So if you are using something like C Sharp, C++, GDScript, etc., if your end compiler or engine has language server support, you're going to get suggestions. I will show you that in action in just a second. Uh, you've got powerful code manipulation. It is built in Rust for the terminal. Uh, so basically no Electron, no nothing like that. It's blazingly fast, runs entirely in your terminal, and it's got a number of modern built-in features as well. The thing is, if it doesn't have the feature you want, you're kind of screwed because there are no plugins. But I have found for the most part, it does have the features that I want. So that's the big thing. If you're wondering uh, how it's different from Vim, so it's built from scratch uh, uh, from their experiences with Vim, and uh, the result is much smaller code base, modern set of defaults. It's easier to get started if you have never used a if you have never used a modal editor before. And there is much less fiddling with config files. And that part is very true. If you want to try a Vim-like editor that is not um, you know a whole bunch of work to set up and configure, this is a good one to check out. On top of that, it also has kind of. Um, select then action as opposed to action then select just kind of a different uh, principle in how things are done so let's go ahead and check this guy out in action so here you can see uh, i have the godot sample projects going on i'm just going to go ahead and open up uh, player.gd so you can see down here player i can't say sensitive on a mac uh, dot gd all right, so we open that guy up. Obviously, the command was HX. If you've ever used Vi before, basically, it's got a, a number of different modes. Your default is like a view mode where you can navigate around the code. Uh, if you want to switch into edit mode, you can press something like uh, I to go into insert, etc. So you kind of toggle between various different modes and options as you go. Now, the big thing here is... Um, because of the uh, language server support, this is what I like. This comes with it out of the box. So I added GDScript language to the language.toml config. And now I'm going to do an input and I'm going to go down here and say input dot. And you'll notice at the top right there, we were getting on the fly compiler result. And then in the bottom left here, we are getting the actual um, code completion. And this is really important to me. I will not use an editor that does not have code completion. And language server support basically makes it works with the vast majority of tools out there. So for example, is anything pressed, boom, and it's done. So that's one thing you could do here. Let's go ahead and just, so X, for example, highlights the line to the beginning. D deletes it. You're learning your whole new language, by the way, when it comes to um, the world of Vim. Another thing we can do is, for example, do a shift colon, and that will bring up all the various different commands that are available here. And one of the neat things about this guy is you do have theme support out of the box. So again, here, I'll do theme and then press enter. Oh, actually, no, it's shift colon theme. And then we'll change the theme. So we can pick the theme we want there. You're seeing you're getting the suggestions as you go. So let's do Dracula at night, like so. And we switch our theme over. So it's got full theming support out of the box. Uh, otherwise, if you are familiar with using a, a VI-based uh, editor of some form, you're going to be immediately comfortable with this guy. Now, another nice thing here is if you want to actually learn how to use it, let me just open up a new terminal window here. You can actually do HX double dash tutor, like so. And this will actually bring you to a uh, kind of a walkthrough process. So for example, to navigate up and down using Vi, you actually use the J keys, the H, J, K, and L navigate around. I've never gotten used to it, to be honest. So it shows you there. Use J till you get through the introduction, and then it shows you how to go through the various different modes. So there are your navigations. So K is up. J is down, H and then L, navigate, and you kind of keep going, and it walks you through uh, how to exit out. It used to be an ongoing joke about like how much it was involved with actually exiting your code uh, when you're editing with Vi. It's just 
a challenging thing. But this basically is an ongoing tutorial, walks you through most of what you need to go up and comfortable with the actual um, experiences in general. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a, a very high level version of what um, of Helix is all about. Uh, it's, it's neat uh, for sure. I'm pretty impressed uh, with my experiences so far. Again, I am not really a Vi guy in the first place. Like my muscle memory for these shortcuts is just lost. But I know when I actually learned it, uh, in a previous job where I worked entirely in the terminal, I learned all the hotkeys for using Vi. And when you start getting the muscle memory, it is a super fast way to work. But at first, it is going to feel like arcane sorcery. By the way, if you do wish to learn this guy, uh, you can learn it and check it out. Helix is available at helix-editor.com. Uh, but the nice thing is there is full documentation. Uh, it'll walk you through everything you need to know, uh, all of the various different uh, modes. So again, you, you work in different modes. So normal mode, uh, then you've got changing modes, and then you've got shell, selection manipulation stuff, searching, uh, view mode, and so on. So you generally start in view mode, I believe, when you first come in. Uh, and then you got tools here for navigating through, uh, various different tools for window handling. So come back over here, for example, and I hit Control and W. We will bring up the window options that are available there, and you can see all the various different controls that are there. So if you want to split your window uh, left to right, you could go ahead and do that right there. So we'll do a quick split. So there is a vertical uh, split, if, for example. And then again, Control W brings back up your various different window keys. Uh, and you could have also um, just done the one or the other. So if I want to do, I could swap my split. Uh, so actually pick the wrong thing. So let's go here. Uh, swap split below. So J. So J, 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 J. And we're splitting between the two selections, etc. So that is, again, very... Uh, I am not the person to tell you exactly how to use uh, Vi hotkey stuff, but if you're familiar with Vi, you're gonna find Helix is quite comfortable. But again, the big difference between Helix and like uh, say NeoVim is that Helix doesn't have plugin support, but it does have all kinds of really sensible defaults, especially if you're using it for coding. And the biggest thing that I actually like is that language server support. Uh, but also again, uh, you do have the syntax highlighting out of the box. And honestly, sometimes more options is worse. So if you're looking for a Vi as a coder that has the features that you want and potentially not all of the features you may need down the road, but a nice introduction. Helix seems to be a very nice choice in that regard. Of course, it's entirely terminal based. It's very fast and so on, although they are working on a GUI front end at some point in the future. So you wanna go ahead and grab this guy. Uh, it is available for download on pretty much every platform you could think of. Uh, so Linux, various different uh, distros of Linux, Mac OS and Windows as well. One thing you do wanna know though, uh, depending on which terminal you use, if you do not have full color support, like for example, the Mac terminal out of the box, uh, you will not get full theming support. So there's the little things you wanna be aware of, but for the most part, uh, it's available on pretty much every platform you'd ever want through every distribution system you can think of. And it gives you, um, again, a very Vi-like editing experience, but without um, the complexity, essentially. So if you're looking for like my first Vi, I, I guess you could say, this one has everything I particularly need to get up and coding with it. Uh, but I can understand how not having plugin support could be a big deal for you. But if that is not a deal breaker, Helix is probably one worth checking out. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.